things just turned deadly and it's Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef as it's now being reported that somebody opened fire and shot off gunshots at Drake's house in Toronto. This gets serious. A shooting has occurred outside the home of Canadian rapper Drake. The incident occurring in the wake of Drake's ongoing beef with fellow rapper Kendrick Lamar. cp 24s Courtney Heels is on the scene with more. Courtney, we see the police tape behind you. What more can you tell us? Mm. Good morning, Marcy. I can tell you there is a pretty heavy police presence along this road. This is Park Lane Circle. It's the street that Drake lives on. Uh, this is as close right to the scene as we street. can get. You can see uh, they have a Toronto right police van house. here, a couple of officers blocking the, the road. Also yellow police tape here, too. Now, Chopper 24, that's our newsroom helicopter, was able to get over Drake's home earlier. And in that video, we saw some yellow police tape in the courtyard of his home. Also, some people going in and out of the house. And as you reported that CP24 reporting there is a source confirming there was a shooting outside of his home. Uh, we do not know if Drake was home at the time and this is all happening in the wake of this ongoing feud with another artist Kendrick Lamar. We don't know if there's a connection that, here just yet. Uh, we are in touch with Toronto Police to see if they can share any more on this investigation. Uh, they are staying pretty tight-lipped but what I can also tell you police are sharing that they are investigating a shooting in this general area uh, where we are. This is the Bridal Path neighborhood. Uh, police say they were called to the Lawrence and Bayview area at about 2 in the morning. That's really close to where we are. Uh, at that time, that was a shooting investigation, and police and paramedics told us uh, a man, an adult, was rushed to hospital with serious injuries, and they were still looking for a suspect seen leaving the area. Police investigation is underway at Drake's home. Chopper 24 is above the scene this morning. It shows the street shut down just outside of 21 Park Lane Circle. That property belongs to the rapper. Crime scene tape can not only be seen outside, but also in the front courtyard driveway of Drake's home. In this case, one person taken to hospital with serious injuries. Investigators say the suspects left the area in a vehicle. The home belonging to Canadian rapper Drake. Now a crime scene in a police investigation. I cannot confirm if Drake was home at the time the incident occurred. But I can tell you that we are in contact with his team and they are cooperating. A man who is not Drake was found at the scene suffering from serious but non-life-threatening injuries and he was taken to hospital. That person was working apparently as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. The shooting comes in the wake of an escalating rap feud between Drake and fellow artist Kendrick Lamar. While their rival relationship dates back years, it resurfaced last October in the form of a diss track. That continued this March and escalated over the weekend, with both rappers making serious unsubstantiated claims about the other. They'll be scouring all the online postings to see if anybody made uh, any untoward or violent threats towards Drake or anybody that works for Drake or his residents. These are the things that they'll be looking at. Police say a suspect fled the area of Drake's home in a vehicle, but have not released any description. Not clear if Drake is in the home or was in the home last night, Natasha. Um, or exactly where on the property the shooting took place, whether it was inside the home, on the front lawn, outside uh, on the street, or where exactly it took place. A source has told CBC News the person that was shot was a security guard. Uh, and shot the that police were, were told that that person was unconscious um, uh. and had received a gunshot wound to the upper chest. And again, that person was Ooh. rushed to hospital. He shot that man in the chest. It's getting too serious, bro. He underwent uh, some kind of surgery. We don't have an update on that person's uh, condition. Um, everybody knew where Drake lived. Yeah. There is a lot of space between yeah. the houses. The homes are mansions. Have you had a chance to speak mm -hmm. to anyone? Are people able to leave uh, the neighborhood and drive out? Are things blocked off? Yeah, so anybody who lives in the Toronto area likely is pretty familiar with this neighborhood. Uh, bridal path, uh, big mansions. It's a gorgeous neighborhood. A lot of space between these homes, too. Um, in terms of uh, the actual location where Drake lives as well, it is well known. A lot of people know he lives on this street right behind me here. Police are reviewing the video and say the suspects drove away. The security guard remains hospitalized in serious condition. In recent weeks, Drake has been involved in a rap feud with Kendrick Lamar. They saying right now that a security guard was shot outside the weekend's co-manager's Los Angeles residence in apparent home invasion. They said weekend's manager Cash Exo 
his security guard was hit, and this may be retaliation, allegedly, when they hit up Drake's house. Fans are now speculating this could be a war in the six. Just when everybody was cheering for this Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef, it just got beyond real. This is exactly what I fear would happen. Whenever you got so many people being hateful, let's not even kid ourselves. Hip hop music has a history of killing their stars. From Tupac and Biggie to Young Dolph, King Von, Pop Smoke. And it's real sad that people on the internet are trying to make fun of this situation. People on the internet is trying to make light of this situation. Like that man who got hit in his chest at Drake's house isn't fighting for his life right now. So before I start, I want to first give prayers to the families of Drake's security guard who's protecting his house who got hit in the chest. Everybody talking about who won between Drake and Kendrick. I'm going to be honest, man. Hip hop is losing. Drake ain't losing, Kendrick Lamar ain't losing, hip hop is losing. Because at the end of the day, if we lose Drake or we lose Kendrick Lamar, hip hop continues to take its stars. Unfortunately, because of this shooting has broke out, now the police gonna be involved. Now the police gonna have to watch this beef way closer because now somebody fighting for their life in the hospital. See, the fact that you got all these rappers, let's be real now, the fact that you got all these rappers coming at one man, Drake, Let's be real, the shooter could have came from anywhere. The shooter could just be some crazy person in the street. The shooter could be a crazy Kendrick Lamar fan. The shooter could come from anywhere because you got too many people involved or this one man's destruction. And this is where it get dangerous. You know how the police gonna do it. They gonna pinpoint and put everything together. Boosie already tried to tell y'all yesterday, all y'all who know that Boosie's an OG. He been through a lot in the streets and he made it out the streets. Boosie's the one who told us that rappers die in their own city because people get hypnotized by hatred. And we watched the whole internet be hypnotized by hatred. Boosie said this, do y'all really wanna see one of these great artists career done because they lost a rap battle? Do y'all really want all that they did for hip hop overshadowed by rap beef? They talking about children, baby mamas, dirt, fiancés, it's getting real. I hope y'all don't think that these artists and crews is gonna shake hands and smile when they run into each other. Nobody gonna be safe in the other city, especially when you got other artists picking sides. That's when it gets serious. This reminds me of the fact that Busta Rhymes tried to tell everybody at the awards show rappers killing each other is bad for business and that's why the record industry and the music industry is trying to get rid of hip hop. One thing that I need y'all to know, we gonna stop these little petty beefs that we be doing in rap. This shit is Y'all messing up, y'all messing up the bag. Y'all messing up the energy. I don't like when I talk to these dudes that run these streaming platforms and they talking about you know, we turning the consumer off because there's so much little this and little that going on with you rappers. We're going to stop that. We're going to love each other and we're going to get to this money. What's really happening is they scared for us to get together. We might give y'all too much information. This supposed to be a sport. This supposed to be a music art form. This supposed to be creativity. Yet y'all sending bullets at people. My prayers are with Drake and his family right now. My prayers are also with Kendra Lamar and his family right now. But you know what these two black men need to do? I know it sounds crazy what I'm about to say, and it's an unpopular opinion, but I'ma say it anyways. What would be big for the culture, what would be big for hip hop, is to see Kendrick Lamar and Drake come together and shake hands and squash the beef. Because even Vince Staples just said, the record labels, the CEOs, the powers that be, they trying to shut down hip hop, y'all. Hey, who you think winning between Drake and Kendrick? <laughs> It's going up on social media. Don't trip, I got your back, bro. I think, um, so I'm signing Universal, right? That record label just folded all of its independent labels and subsidiaries into each other, which means how we was kids, you got Rockefeller, you got Def Jam, you got all these things, none of them exist no more. They fired all the heads of the labels, and if they didn't, they turned them into glorified A&Rs. They cut off 50% of the people who work in all these departments. Most of those people is us, people of color that come from hip hop and R&B and these other things, right? We getting priced out of our contracts, we getting priced out of our imprints. There are no labels, basically, that are incentivized to sign black music and it's happening in front of our eyes. And while Taylor Swift is fighting for people to be able to have streaming money, niggas is on the internet arguing with each other about some rap shit. Because of situations like this, you know why? Because everybody always pulling out guns and it's stopping the bag and it's stopping hip hop from being profitable. So right now on the world stage, how embarrassing is it? And when we got two of our biggest rappers using a talent, somebody gotta pull out a daggone gun. It's bad for business. 
And don't nobody want to do business with no group of people that's bad for business. And at the end of the day, man, we all lose it when we lose one of our stars to gun violence. I love my people. But we got to do better than this, man. Straight up.